What's going on NEM crew? Welcome back to another video. This is just going to be a quick segment to talk about the timing on an LS based engine. So we're going to go through the process. It is fairly straightforward and simple. Let's just dive right in. All right, so we're going to be timing this engine. Um, right now, um, the crank sprocket is on. Um, the uh, cam sprocket is not on, as you can probably see. Um, but the first things um, that you need to do, understand or know, um, is that there is a timing mark on the crank sprocket and there is a timing mark on the cam sprocket. Now ideally what those need to do is those needs to need to line up. So ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to crank over the engine uh, and we're going to put the um, crank sprocket um, with the timing mark facing uh, 12 o'clock and then we're going to put the cam sprocket on there uh, on the cam and we're going to put that at 6 o'clock. So ultimately there's going to be the dots are going to be facing each other if that makes any sense. I'll get some shots and I'll show you what that means. Um, but uh, first step is going to be lining up the crank and then we'll get the timing chain. I have it sitting in some oil um, just to make sure all the links get lubed up nice. Um, and then we're going to plop it on here fairly straightforward. And we'll bolt up the, um, the cam sprocket. All right, so in the clip of the uh, indicator on the crank, um, the dot was almost at the 12 o'clock position. So um, what we need to do is just turn it a little bit more. And again, what we're doing is we're putting cylinder one at top dead center. And I believe, could be wrong, I believe that cylinder one is right here. Um, so once we crank it um, a little bit more, this will actually be at uh, top dead center. So this. Um, it's the piston if you're looking at the front of the engine on the right side it's the first one right up right where my hand is here um, so let's crank it over just a bit and now uh, we'll put it at top dead center where it needs to be and then we'll finalize everything that we need to do with the cam sprocket alright so everything is set up in terms of the crank um, sprocket everything is lined up where it needs to be ready to go for the cam sprocket, it's a good idea to put the dowel at three o'clock because that will get everything kind of lined up in in the. Blah, 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 blah. It will get everything lined up and situated roughly where it needs to be um, to line up correctly with the crank sprocket here. So what I'm going to do um, is get the chain and then we will put the cam sprocket in place. So you're going to have to put the chain on the actual sprocket first um, and then you're going to have to, it's going to be in almost in one motion where you're going to put everything together. The chain's going to come on over the crank sprocket and then the um, cam uh, sprocket will, will go into place. So just keep that in mind. You won't be able to get the chain on once you put um, this sprocket on. So don't put this sprocket on unless you got a chain on it. Once you have the markings lined up, again, we're just going to double check here. Everything looks good. We're going to put the, um, well, in my case, I'm using ARP uh, fasteners, and then we're going to use some blue Loctite. Okay, so we got the bolts started and in. Lastly, we are gonna use a torque wrench and we're gonna to torque these to 28 foot-pounds. Now yours might be a little bit different. I believe the torque spec could be slightly different if you're using the stock bolts. I got one of these books here um, that kinda of outlines everything. So 28 foot-pounds for the ARP bolts. Uh, 24 pounds for the OEM 
bolts, just for reference. Um, and you do want to use Loctite, like I mentioned, on these. So we're going to torque these up. So this is all torqued, timed, good to go. There's no issues, everything lines up. Now there is some slack in the chain, if you can see that. Um, a lot of people have cause for concern. I do have to put the dampener in for the timing chain. It's not a tensioner. Again, this is not a tensioner. This is just a dampener. Um, so it's not necessarily gonna make this tighter, um, but I guess I'll we'll have to deal with the slack. Not really a fan of it, but should survive, should be fine, uh, fingers crossed. But that's how you time an engine on an LS-based platform. Hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Um, yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay classy, crew.